Hi guys, it is finally sweater weather. Actually, now that I've been filming for two hours, it's no longer sweater weather in here. I am sweating balls in here. Uh, but anyways, my name is Stefania. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to do a few looks with the Morphe and James Charles palette. I wanted to see if I could get more wearable looks out of this, just because even though I do love color, sometimes it's not like I'm going to do rainbow eyes every single day. So I wanted to mess more around with the, probably like this half of the palette. So I am going to show you two different looks and how it applied and kind of talk more about the formula now that I've used it for a few days. If you want a more colorful look, I did that in yesterday's video with my first impressions of the palette. So today is going to more be more neutral, more wearable, like night wear, office wear, daily wear, all that good stuff or at least my version of that. So if you guys want to see how I got the looks and use this beautiful palette a little bit more, then keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload, which you should, because I decided that you want to know, you know? And let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so we're gonna start with the Smashbox Lid Primer. Uh, this is in the shade Light. And we're just gonna put that all over the eye. So I know some people, I watched some reviews, people did not use a lid primer and they did use concealer and they were not happy with the results. So I don't know if that's going to be with every single eye look. I think that's more for the pigments, but better safe than sorry. So I will not be lazy and use this. You have no idea how much I wanted to wipe concealer when I was blending it out on my lid, but I didn't. So again, I'm just going to put the shade names at the bottom. Um, just because, you know, you won't be able to see me if I hold up the palette. So, okay, I am going to show you one shade. I'm going to start in with this banana shade. And it's kind of like, I don't know how this is going to apply. Because looking at it in the pan, it definitely doesn't look like it would really show up on my skin tone. But it kind of isn't what I expected in a good way. So it's still not deep, you know, but... You can still see that there's something going on the lid. So we're just going to take that and blend all the way up. You're not going to really see it throughout the look, but it's just going to create a nice transition of layering. Okay, so we're going to take this deeper shade in the transition. And same exact thing, we're going to blend it up. I still don't know if I could agree with the whole transition row. I think, like the black, I really don't see myself going through other than using it for a liner and maybe like a literal like tap into it. But, you know, that's about it. So essentially you're just gonna blend for like five years. And I literally just like one little tap. You can see the pigment that this like palette picks up. It's so intense that you really want to go in nice and slow and work it into the crease. So it takes a little bit more time to do it that way, but because they are so pigmented, you know, you don't want to look like a mess. On a smaller brush, we're going to really start defining the crease. So I go through my crease and then right above it, just because I don't want that, like, my eyelid flaps to cover all my work. So. Just taking a little tiny amount, blending it through, picking a little bit more back up, and then putting it right above the crease rather than straight into your eye socket. I'm also going to place this color right at the end of the eyeball. This is actually a really pretty brown. Like I really like this shade a lot. Like this is the type of shade I was talking about with the Huda Beauty palette that I wish it had because I think it looks so good to deepen up the crease and kind of for that outer corner. I would have just appreciated a few more darker shades that weren't so purple. So you're going to take the orange shade, just one little tap on your brush. That's all you need. And I'm going to kind of blend out the edges on top just to add in a little bit more color. As you can see, like, like I said yesterday, you don't want to blend it too much or else it kind of disappears. You want to kind of place it where you want it to go. So as you can see like that spot there, well I guess you can't really see it that much on camera, but very light amount. 
Okay, on a wet brush, I'm just going to take this, not all the way across the lid, but kind of in the center. Like I mentioned in yesterday's video, I do think you have to use these wet because I think dry, they just really don't make an impact. Um, but wet, they are nice. You'll hear my thoughts at the end. But the whole point of today was to test out these metallic shades. So now the other side of the brush, I'm gonna dip into a lighter pink. That's how that shade looks. In an inner corner, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm gonna dip in with the actual like highlighting type shade mixed in with the lighter pink. And that's kind of like my brush dried a little bit. So yeah, you can definitely see like wet versus dry. Next, I'm gonna take a liner brush with that dark crease shade we use, and I'm just going to line my top lash line, which I do have to actually hold my eyelid down. I don't know how people do this without constantly like looking. Lower lash line, I'm gonna take Earthquake Liner from Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna go halfway in. I'm going to mix the two crease shades we used. Keep it nice and tight close to the lash line. I don't want this to be super, super smoky. Make sure I'm in focus here as my eyeballs turn red. And then with that banana color, I'm going to use that to smudge this all out. Obviously, you can make this a lot smokier, but... I didn't want to make it too smoky because I want these to be like wearable type looks. And I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of that orange shade. And then we're just going to add some mascara and lashes. Alright guys, so here is look one all finished out. I love the way this turned out. Like my eyes look nice and they match my sweater. It's finally sweater weather. So anyways, this is look one. I think it's extremely wearable. I could wear this every day and be comfortable. You don't have to smoke it out as much if you don't want to, but I did obviously want it today to just test out the more neutral colors. So we will hurry up and move into look number two. But let me know what you guys think. As far as highlight goes, I did just use the palette. I'm trying to use the palette for everything as much as possible so that we get to use, but I kind of mix this shade, this shade, and the highlight shade. The highlight shade is just a little bit too light on my skin, so I kind of mix the darker gold in there to kind of make it stand out, and then that whitish shade just like on the center point. So that is what I did. All right, let's move on to look number two. Okay, on to look number two. So we're gonna start off with this shade here, which I was kind of like, is that gonna show up? A lot of the shades that I was like, I don't think they're gonna show up at all. Kind of actually show up in a nicer way than I thought. I'm not really a taupey brown type person. Like taupes aren't my thing, but this kind of turned out well. I went ahead and primed my eyes with that Smashbox lid primer. I just, you know, now it's old news. So. Same thing, I'm just gonna take it and build it. Everything in this palette, I like to build on top. But it is not a bad crease shade. So as you guys can see, it does show up. It's not as light, I guess, as I thought it was gonna be, or taupey, which I already said. I know. I shut up now and I keep blending. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little brush like this for the cut crease and just dip in slowly and kind of just follow that and flick it out. So I'm going above my crease, not in my crease, that way it still shows up. Okay, so when you like, when that's about done and you feel like you placed it pretty well and really deepen that up, you could deepen it up a lot more than I did, but I feel like this is looped. So now I'm gonna cut the crease with some tart shape tape real quick. Oh, 
All right, we're gonna wait for that to dry for a second. But if you guys can see, I actually feel like it looks good just with a cut crease. I did put the gold over it, so obviously we're gonna do that because we have to match. But I actually just like it the way it is. That one brown shade, this one, this one right here has been like, it's such a pretty shade. Which I know looking at the palette, you're like, it's all the colors that matter, but nope. This is gonna be my best friend. So I am happy at least for that one. He made a big palette, like a big pan. Cause I'm just like, okay, I could use that every day. I love these type of browns. And by the way, I'll add lashes onto this look. But my other look, I was like, oh, I had lashes. And I was like, I only have has lashes glue. It would take me 10 years to get it off and I would never be able to do this look. And it would just be painful for me. So I was like, mm, I'm not gonna do that. All right, so now that it is nice and dry, you're gonna pick up a wet brush. And I'm gonna take this gold shade. I do have more feelings about this palette now that I've used it for multiple looks. So I will definitely go over that in the end. But overall, like, I am, I'm pretty impressed by the palette. So I don't set my cut crease, I really just wait for it to dry. I don't know if anyone else does that. I feel like everyone kind of passed it on, but I'm fine with it still works, okay? So this gold is a pretty gold. It's not like the best thing I've ever seen, but definitely not the worst, you know what I mean? All right, and then on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna take the whitish gold shade for that inner corner. Yes, you can grab a smaller brush, but uh, you know, this works too. I just want a tiny little highlight like right underneath my brow. Okay, so for the lower lash line, it's kind of up to you. You can totally just use the brown that we used in the crease, which is fine. It will look really nice together. But I figured I wanted to play a little bit more with something, like just give a little, little extra punch. So, I'm gonna go in with this lilac-y type shade. I don't even know what you would call that. It's not as neon as it looks, obviously, under this eye, so I wouldn't call it a neon purple. But I like to do these neutral looks, and this is a great way if you're like not really sure how to use color, then this just adds that nice pop. Or you could just completely do the neutral look and just use the same color we used in the crease with like a dark brown liner that will look very nice as well but we're going for wearable but ones that still excite me something that still excites me like i used to work in an office and i swear i didn't care what makeup i wore in there and neither did they they never said like that's too colorful wipe it off so it's more just like what you're comfortable with I don't think a lot of people at work would have the balls to be like, no, you cannot wear that. You know, maybe they do and your boss is an asshole. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I used to have a desk job and I wore colorful makeup and uh, it was totally fine. So you're going to grab a Q-tip first. I did have a tiny, tiny bit of fallout. Hopefully that will just wipe, wipe away, please. Oh. All right. I gotta fix that with some powder. But uh, I'm gonna take a Q-tip, I gotta go to the bathroom because that's where my makeup remover is, and just kind of take out where it's gotten in the waterline, and then I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup. Uh, this is the nude shade. What is this? Smudger, sharpener, blah, blah, blah. BCC. Okay, that is the shade it is. My nose is running too. So I'm gonna use this in the waterline and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is look number two all done. I like the way this turned out. I think I like the other look better as far as like in terms of I'll probably wear that look all the time. Um, but this is a great way to incorporate color if you're not used to using it. Just see if you like it. Test it out. Dip your toes in, you know? But overall, I do, I'm still like, it's only been a few days. But I am seeing more and more looks that I can create. And it's getting easier to see the vision. <laughs> um... But I do want to dip into more of the greens. I obviously want to dip into the colorful shades. I am happy that I can get everyday wearable looks out of this. I think we've seen so many rainbow eyes and so many other stuff that it's like, okay, but am I going to use this every day? You know, so 
I really do think you can get some, obviously I just did the looks, but wearable looks out of this that makes it into a worthwhile palette. Just make sure you blend nice and slowly. Just use a pinch of pigment. Um, don't pick it up or else, yeah, you're gonna have problems. But anyways, I still do really like the palette. I don't really have any crazy stuff to say. I did not mention yesterday in the review, it doesn't come with a mirror, which is fine because you guys can see like, if you had to hold this thing up while doing your makeup, like I think you probably, you know, not want to do that. Like it's just, it's just too big. But overall, I would still really recommend this. I have been getting a lot of comments about, you know, James Charles and Morphe and the whole like thing. But and, and I get it because like we hear discount codes all the time. And you're kind of just like, Sh shut your mouth, you know. But um, I think the best thing about Morphe is it is affordable. And the palettes that have been more expensive, like this one or the Jaclyn Hill, has been up there with quality. I think that is probably the best part about it in terms of being a YouTuber. You want to use palettes that people can afford to buy or else, you know, who am I going to do a tutorial for if nobody has it? So even though I love my high-end palettes so much... Um, not everyone wants to spend money on or can't afford to on Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona or those higher end brands. So I totally get why these, this is, this is why I got into Morphe in the first place. And to be honest, I'm super impressed with this. So I will say the one thing with Morphe, I always never, I don't fall in love with the shimmers. Like they're, they're nice. You guys saw me apply on the eyes and everything, but they're not like that intense, like punch of metallic -y goodness and I love my metallics um they still work well but they're not they're definitely not the best so uh, that's totally fine because when I think about it I spent $39 on this so I'm not upset about it it still worked they just aren't like the absolute like best which obviously quality versus the cost you know you figure it out so anyways let me know what looks you guys want to see next. I don't know if I want the green or the blue. I don't want the blue. I more or less want the green or the purples. So let me know what you guys want to see. A lot of these shades, even though they look like they're going to be too light, like that banana E shade, that's why I kind of dipped into it, or that taupe shade, you guys saw in the eyes, they apply better than I thought they were going to. You know, they show up on my skin tone, which is something I didn't think they were going to do. Um, but yeah, I still don't think I'm going to use all these transition shades too much. I love like these two colors more than anything else. And then I wish there was kind of just one shade up from these rather than going from like that extreme to like that really light banana -y yellow. But swatching the yellow, I thought like maybe I could use this as an under eye. No, it has like a greenish tint to it. It would not be good. Anyways, let me know what you guys want to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell because I will be using this again and again and again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. These colors, these are the ones that he thought were going to go out the fastest or like that you would use the fastest. I still don't know if I completely agree.